This fish has more bones in its back than any animal in the whole of the animal kingdom. Up to 750. And this amazing x-ray from Sandra Redden at the Smithsonian proves it. It's called a snipe eel or more amusingly a deep sea duck because its mouth resembles the beak of a bird. They use those beaks to feed, they don't quite shut, but on the inside of them there's some little hair-like tiny teeth and they filter out little crustaceans, things like these copepods and shrimps. Because they've got such a long, long, thin body, it's about five foot long, about two meters, they have all their internal organs in that front bit, which has led some people to say they've got the anus in the throat. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where it is. They're found worldwide at depths of about 600 meters, nearly 2,000 feet, and uh, sometimes they go shallower at night. In fact, they're even found in the diet of some birds. No one really knows whether they're common or rare because they're, of course, in a very difficult place to, to access in the middle of the dark, deep sea. And the ones that have been found are, are taken up by trawls. In fact, some of the first came up in the 1840s and there's pretty accurate drawings of them from, from that time. We were trawling off the San Clemente Trench in California. I mentioned this before, but just briefly, this is what it looked like and this is how it got into the filming tank. They don't survive very long, I'm afraid, because of the damage that happens when they're trawled. But we recorded this one, and I put it up on the web so that you could see it. It's pretty rare footage. In fact, this might be one of the only swimming ones that's ever been recorded. I had an amazing comment on another of these clips, which I want to share with you, because it really perfectly describes how I feel about these deep sea creatures. All of them are kind of slightly weird to us and, and perhaps a bit like monsters. But as the person who commented said, they end up being these small, fragile things. So thanks for listening and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be chatting about some more marine creatures very soon.